Now we are here to support the world to cause for the hurricane relief, you know what I mean, to help the people in the Caribbean around the world. So remember that. Don't give up, no matter what you do. This King Banton reporting for you and singing for you. It's only a matter of time before things get brighter. It's only a matter of time before things get brighter. Men see their dreams and aspiration crumble in front of their face. Yet still building nuclear bombs trying to destroy a human race. Judge, I show them a sign and I pray that they'll change the ways. Cause if they don't do that, it's gonna be a damn disgrace. Cause it's only a matter of time before things get brighter. It's only, we are at the Burrard Regional Park. Come on and support it, you know? You can make it. King Banton is here live in the park. Yeah! Hey, we jamming out here. We're having a great time and it's for a great great purpose. We're here at Broward Regional Park and we are helping with the donations that have been given and there's a lot uh, that are going to Puerto Rico and all of those who've been affected by the recent hurricanes and it's a great turnout here. In the building is WZPP 96.1. What's up y'all? And DJ Barry Hype is in the building. He's actually on the stage right now. That's him. Hey, hey, hey. Anyways, so yeah, I'm getting ready to party. I'm going to probably interview Susan from Company B. She's in the bitty. So we're going to talk to her in a little bit. But you guys, stay tuned. Check. You guys, we're here at Broward Regional Park. This event is so strong, so huge. We're making Hurricane Maria look bad right now because we are getting so many donations, but we still need more. I mean, if you can come out and even donate your time, that would be a wonderful thing. But these two right here, these are the brains behind this whole thing right here. They're going to tell you about it right now. Tell them your name. Hi, I'm Cindy. Nice to meet you. Um, this effort was, you know, it was a devastating hurricane season. You know, and we initially started with the idea to get all the community um, organizers, promoters involved in, in really bringing the entire community together. And we started planning it, you know, just when Irma hit. And then we like, okay, we got to wait because there's another one. And, you know, Maria did a lot of damage, Irma did a lot of damage, and we just felt really compelled to try and bring the entire community together to really do something to benefit these people. So my name is Devin, I'm from Dominica, um, the most recent, one of the most recent islands to be ravaged by these storms. We were actually planning this effort before Hurricane Maria hit. Um, we were on the phone one day planning this, and in the span of our one hour phone call, Hurricane Maria advanced from a category two to a category five. So we're like, guys, we have to accelerate our plans. We have to do this this weekend. We need everybody involved. In Florida, we were largely spared. So our call is for everybody who lives in Florida, you have your own hurricane supplies at home, under your fridge, in your fridge, in your cabinet, in your garage, in your storage. Take it, please bring it to us. We have various outlets that are available. Today, we're doing it here. You can go any day of the week to any of the outlets listed on our website, which is sflcaribbeanstrong.com, sorry, .org. And then from there, you can just donate and we'll get it to the people who need it most in any of the islands, not just Dominica, St. Martin. We will make a calculated, concerted effort to reach people where they need it the most. I'm glad you said that because it's not just today. I thought it was just today, but it's not just today, you guys. We can continue donating because the need is always there. The need is always there. I'll be, one, one thing that we were always taught growing up is the, ch the kids of the future. This is how we know how to give back by getting people together to raise awareness, to give back to our community for the people who instill these values in us. I'm taking that home. I'm taking that home. I love you guys. Tell them again how to find you and how to make more donations. Well, you can go to sflcaribbeanstrong.org and the theme of this whole thing is Caribbean Strong because we're one Caribbean. So, you know, we need to stick together in order to help each other. So go to sflcaribbeanstrong.org and you can see uh, uh, how to donate, how to give, how to volunteer. Because this is an ongoing effort. It's not just today. It's going to be an ongoing effort. Because many islands are going to take a long time to actually recover. So... We have a lot of need at this time. 
and they can find out what they can bring too because there's some things that are not going to be able to be sent right so real quick i'll run on the list water food diapers medicine shelter tarpaulins and tents um basic necessities we need to make sure that our people can maintain their dignity throughout this terrible ordeal we need to kind of keep the standard going and just do what you can you have it in your house you're not using it bring it you can go to the store and buy more there's Publix down the street you could just or if that's too much work go to sflcaribbeanstrong.org click the donate button and pledge five dollars a roti send us a roti a roti a roti and also to add to that um, we know that the kids, the kids of the islands are going to have a really tough time this Christmas. It's going to be a terrible Christmas. So we're planning to do a toy drive, like maybe at the, maybe at the beginning of November. We, this is something that we discussed on the surface. So it's not going to stop here. We want to be able to make, you know, make them feel at least, give them some semblance of what they had before. So Christmas is the least we can do. Toys, toys, toys. But we'll announce that as time go on, which very soon. So Keep me posted and I'll put it on my show. I'll, I'll put it on my radio show and everything for you guys. I love you guys. Love you too. Mwah. I love the hair. Thank you. Thank you guys. We're going to keep in touch. And I have Susan from Company B. You guys know her face. You guys know her. Say what's up. What's up? <laughs> We're out here donating our time. Susan, it's great to see you out here. You're always out doing stuff in the community. I commend you for that. Thank you. I try to help wherever I can. We always try to help, you know? You do. You, you Company B, I mean, I was over there talking to these people before you got here, and they were like, oh, I know them. I know them. So they're, like, dying to see you. I'm going to take you over there. Okay, thank you. Yes, we love to meet them. Yes. Um, I came out because the girls couldn't make it, and we came out and we brought some water, toiletries to go over to the Caribbean islands, Puerto Rico, Mexico. All the places that need our help and relief. Yeah, definitely. Um, you guys, it's an important thing. And I keep saying this, and I don't mean to, you know, drive that so hard, but it could be any of us at any time. So we have to uh, all stick together. And one other thing, though, too, we got to be being like this and being nice other than in tragic situations, right? Yes, we need to be nice to people all the time. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. It's getting bad out there. We need to come together as one. You guys, we're back. I'm here with WZPP radio crew. They're in the building. We're here still at Broward Regional Park. I want you guys to listen to these young people here. I want you to hear their stories. I want you to hear what they do and why they're so important to us. Tell everybody your name and what you do. Uh, my name is Gary Enforcement. I'm a DJ for WZPP 96.1. Uh, and uh, we're the voice of the Caribbean here in Miami. We, we try to uh, reach out to our community as being the first legal, legal 24-7 FM Caribbean station. So we work towards the community of keeping them, letting them know what is going on, what, you know, what, what, what's taking place inside their community. I love it because with all of this going on, people not being able to get in touch with their family members and things like that, at least they can tune in and hear what's going on, where to go, if there's new information. Correct, 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 correct. It's just, it's just a matter of keeping our community together as one, no matter, no, no matter what the, the consequences are, because at the end of it, all of us are one. You know what I mean? Because whether it is you're black, you're white, you're Syrian, you're Chinese, and then when you cut each other's person or you cut our, our skin, the same blood flows. The same blood flows. Definitely, I love it. Hi, my name is Naya Daniel. I am an on-air personality as well um, as the PR rep for WZPP. I'm a, also a freelance journalist. Um, I represent two islands. And so I was personally affected by Hurricane Maria for three days. I could not hear anything from anyone in my family. It was I had so much anxiety. I was so scared day because I wasn't sure what was going on but finally I got a text that came through that said we're okay we're all okay but the roof is gone to so I'm very grateful that um, this event was put together and that there is a way that we can help 
family so together for a good cause um, and that's one of the things of course that we at WZPP believe in we serve the community we have people from all different nations um, in the Caribbean represented and yeah I'm definitely grateful for this and I'm hoping that Dominica could definitely recover I know it's gonna take a lot and things aren't getting much better right now but I'm great I am hopeful that it will get better and I, I definitely see that thank you hi my name is DJ Mecca Rose I'm one of the DJs of W FM I represent Barbados and Cayman Islands and I gotta say I'm so glad to be able to come out and spend and support give my time to support this drive because we need as a Caribbean nation, we need to all to come together as one, and that's what WZPP is about. We are the voice of the Caribbean. We are the first legal Caribbean station in South Florida, and we represent the whole of the West Indies, Jamaican, Trini, Bajan, Antiguan, everybody. It don't matter. We represent all of you. So we, I'm so glad to be here to support everybody that, that, uh, that lost because of you know, WCPP, that's what we're all about, bringing everybody together. And I just wanted to say one more thing. For us here, um, we had Hurricane Irma. It, it didn't affect us that much, of course, but there were some people who had a lot of damage. I personally had some flooding. And look, I can just go online and apply for assistance for FEMA, but they don't have that option at all, you know? Hey, I can go and collect water. There was water that they was giving out. There was hot food people were giving out. They, it was so, there were so many options. There's so many opportunities for us here and I feel like I'm getting emotional but I pray I won't um, that they don't have so you know it's very important that we do as we're privileged here you know and it's just important that we do whatever we can to build up our Caribbean countries thank you well uh, that's all I can say my co-workers they said it for me you know they said it everything you know as we're saying WZPP we're here for the community we are the voice of the Caribbean and a hey, to all the victims that have been affected by this, keep the faith, keep strong. Our prayers and our hearts are with you. You guys, WZPP been in the building with Summer 96.1, The Voice. You guys need to tune in to them each and every chance you get, each and every day. Do it! You guys, I'm back. We're Caribbean strong. Wow, it's been a great day and we are not finished yet because there are still a need for donations. But today, we have some great volunteers who are gonna talk to you guys, right? Yes. Tell them your name. My name is Samantha, I'm from South Florida Caribbean Conference and I am the supervisor overseeing all the volunteers. Um, we have over 150 amazing, amazing volunteers who come on out and dedicate their time like these, oh my God, I can't tell you, these individuals here are just a few who was here since morning wow. to now. Yeah. Without, I mean, they make my job so easy and I, we could not have done this without you guys. And we really, really appreciate it. Do you guys want to say anything? You have to because you deserve so much credit because it's not easy, you guys. It's not easy. It's been a hot day, but guess what? Today is nothing compared to what people are going through in the islands right now. So I know that it came from your heart to be out here all day. Okay. My name is um, Austin Keynes. I'm from the St. Kitts and Nevis Association of Florida. So I came out on behalf of my association to give back my time and effort and donation to the people who suffered worse than we are in South Florida. And we cannot afford to forget about our own Caribbean brothers and sisters who islands are so devastated by the storm. You know, we suffered well, um, Irma a bit, but um, when we look at the pictures come to, to us who are abroad, we cannot do nothing but to help and give back to our people that suffered. My name is Shanita, I represent the BVI, St. Thomas, St. Croix, Tortola, we love you. We're here working for you, praying for you. We love you guys. We'll keep working hard. My name is Courtney, I'm from the Virgin Islands. I just want to say that this effort is bigger than all of us. So the limited time I committed today is the least I can do and to humbly give back to my community, my Caribbean community. So I, I, I love what I'm doing and I don't mind doing it at all. I love it, we have to, we have to. And I understand that it's not finished today. Can they still donate 
until where can people still drop donations and get you know they can always go online south floor um, s sflcaribbeanstrong.org and they will have information updated. Also they have contact information. Uh, you can give us a call, we'd be more than happy to um, give you the information. Keep in mind there's a lot of organization come together and there's a lot more organizations is doing things to help the community. So look out there's going to be tons and tons and tons of drives because our Caribbean people really need it. This is not it's a one-time thing. It's going to take years for our Caribbean to recover from this. So I'm hoping that everybody come together and give a helping hand. That's all we're asking, please give a helping hand. We're back guys. I'm here with King Bantan in the bitty. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Uh, it's good, I'm here. Give thanks for life, we're here. Just coming through the hurricane and you know, we survive, so we give thanks. So everything is good for you and all that with your home here? Yes, everything is alright. We are here, we have health and strength and that's a good thing, you know. But what about your family in the island? Family is okay. In Jamaica, you know, they're alright. Okay, Doing good. Because there's so many out there right now who haven't even heard from their family members. So that's what we're here today for. We are here donating our time and we're giving uh, water and whatever donations need to be sent to the island. Oh, I'm here too, you know, I bring some water and some canned goods, you know, and here with my talent too, and just to support the worthy cause. Are you going to perform for us? Well, if, I, if they ask, I will. If they ask me, I will do that. You see, guys, people are coming out, they're donating their time, their talent, whatever it is, you know, to help this effort to raise money and donations for the needy. Where can people follow you and, and, and know about what you have going on right now? Well, you can find me on Facebook, Harmony Town, Mr. King Banton, also King Banton. Instagram, The Real King Banton, Twitter, King Banton. And you can get all my music on iTunes and all the leading digital recording outlets.